Another week, meaning another Grand Summoners update is coming your way. And this update this week has quite a bit of content to look forward to. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your boy OP to come through and give you guys the latest news. So, just a side note to mention, I gotta kinda speedrun this. Why? Because it's actually storming really bad at my house. Like, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a tornado soon. And I don't know if my power's gonna go out. So I kinda need to get this video out before then. Here we go, the any percent news speedrun. If this video doesn't come out today, we unfortunately failed the speedrun at GDQ. So first and foremost, we actually have the Kill a Kill Part 2 coming. Now, a Kill a Kill Part 2 is a little bit different than like other crossover events. Sometimes with Part 2, you know, we're usually getting a new unit or something like that. But but not with Kill a Kill Part 2. That's not what's happening here. The only thing that's happening is we get the Special EX Nui crossover event quest. And then finally, we also get a new Gacha Equip banner. By the way, if you want to check out what all those things do, you can check out this video after you get done watching this one. And I specifically explain what all equips are coming in Part 2. But if you want to know some of the big names that are coming through here that a lot of people are looking out for, one of the main ones is actually Nui's Purple Scissor Blade. This is apparently going to be one of the best in slot items for Simon's 5-star magic, which I can definitely see it. The 70% damage, the dark resist down. Overall, it's a great item. If you have Simon, I actually would recommend trying to get this. And like I said, this is only one of the equips that are coming. There's a lot more coming that are also nuking oriented, damage buffing oriented, on top of some healings, on top of some arch gens. Overall, you have some great stuff coming in part two. And as far as kill a kill goes, that's pretty much it new equips coming new stage in the event that's all there is to it oh and then possibly maybe a crossover reset for part one but i think they may wait a little bit later to announce a crossover reset for the banner but then we have some new things coming as you can see here there's going to be a new login bonus with this mysterious character that some people may not know her name but this is the girl lyra or as they're calling her in global for some odd reason Lila. I don't know why we keep changing the names on these characters. I'm going to be honest. Either way, though, I'm going to keep calling her Lyra. So, uh, sorry if that causes confusion, but that's why I've been calling her for literally months. And with this login bonus, we're not only going to be getting this, but I'm also going to be assuming we're going to be getting the last of the Spy in the Shadow missions. I'm almost positive Lyra is actually the final unit from that event saga, but who knows? They may make more later on down the line. So, we're going to be getting a new event, new login bonus, tons of crystals, and also this new unit, which she herself is actually pretty cracked if you're using her in correct situations. She's kind of a unique unit in terms of how you're going to be able to get out the most damage possible with her. These are her stats on screen, and to summarize this up very, very quickly, she's pretty much a unit that is able to crit 100% of the time as long as she is not afflicted by any status ailments. Not only this, she's also able to buff up everybody's crit damage with the art. This is actually a ramping art, so you have to use this about five times, if I'm not mistaken, to get this all the way up to 100%. And then with the true art, this is where it gets kind of unique. So her true art multiplier is actually 55,000 at base. However, you can actually increase this all the way up to 100k based on the unique elements in the party except herself. So this doesn't include herself, meaning that you can put another light unit on the party. You could put like, let's say an earth unit and then the final unit could be like, I don't know, a water unit or whoever else. That means that 15 times three would equal 45, meaning that you will be able to have a 45,000% increase totaling to a whopping one hundred thousand percent multiplier so she's a very unique i don't even know if i would even call her a ramping damage dealer because you could kind of achieve a nuking status with her if you run like a rainbow nuke team right that's what this character is promoting so she's kind of like this mixed hybrid type of character which is kind of cool but she even gets crazier whenever you factor in something like her true weapon her true weapon will actually reduce the enemy's physical resistance by 20 percent. but if the user is light you reduce it by 35 percent instead and one of the main abilities on this is when equipped by lyra you will be able to increase your damage by 60% or crit damage specifically, which is perfectly fine because as long as she doesn't have any stats elements afflicted on her, she's going to be critting 100% of the time due to her passive. So overall, Lyra to me seems like one of the cool units that I've seen released recently. It's not like the same way that like you deal damage. They're promoting you to use like more of a different team, more of a rainbow team. Either way though, I think she's going to be a really solid nuker. Is that even what we're calling her? I don't even know what to call her. Is she like a nuker, a ramper? I don't even know. She's in like a very unique spot. Well, I can see people argue that she's a, that she's like a ramping damage dealer and she's also that nuker, but she can also feel like that sustain attacker role as well. So I'm actually really excited for Lyra to come. I kind of hope that if I throw like a free 50 pull at this, you know, maybe I can get lucky and pull the girl. But either way though, she's looking cool. We got a character with a, another gun and grand summoners. This time she has the death machine and I'm personally ready to rack up my kill streak even more with her. And that ladies and gentlemen is all the news coming out this week well maybe there'll be more news but as far as we know that is all the stuff that we know currently that is coming to the game on june 9th thank you all again for coming out it's been your boy p tell me what you guys think about the new update down below in the comment section 
I'd love to read them. And if you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend that you watch either one of these videos popping up on your screen, especially the Kill Kill crossover breakdown if you want to know everything that's coming in part two. But either way, the fam, that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you all again for coming out. And oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.